So this is part two of the Cinema 4D rendering technique series. And in this tutorial, we're gonna have a look at uh, motion blur. So I just set up this simple scene with a propeller kind of spinning. So what we first wanna do is we wanna go to render settings and set the render to physical. And just go to the physical, click on the physical uh, option and check motion blur. So I'm just gonna render the scene and uh, nothing happens. So what we wanna do is, we basically wanna to render to the picture viewer. So I'm just gonna to go to my output and check that I'm rendering the current frame. And I'm gonna click this picture viewer icon here. And as you can see, now we can uh, see the motion blur. So I'm just gonna to go to my camera settings and uh, where it says shutter speed, at the moment it's 1 over 30, which is uh, quite slow. So the further uh, we increase the shutter speed, the less motion blur you're going to get. So the quicker it is, uh, the less motion blur you're going to get. So I'm just going to render this at uh, 1 over 1000. And as you can see, motion blur has almost completely disappeared. Now I'm going to set it to something pretty low, like 1 over 8, which is pretty unrealistic in a kind of real life situation. but. Um, this is all digital, so anything's possible. And here, as you can see, we've got a lot of motion blur. So um, you might notice that the quality is kind of a bit uh, grainy. So if you go back to the physical options and uh, where it says motion subdivisions, increasing this kind of helps. You've only got a maximum of six anyway. And you also want to set the sampling quality to high. And I'm just going to render again. And now uh, we've got a very kind of crisp motion blur. So I'm quite happy with those settings. I'm going to render the entire animation and show you uh, what the result was. So this is the end result of the render. The motion blur is a uh, kind of a bit extreme, but it looks quite smooth overall the animation. So uh, yeah, that brings us to the end of this tutorial and uh, thanks for watching.